Welcome to my course on Siemens A71200 Programmable Logic Controller. In this lesson 1, I will explain the hardware of a typical A71200 PLC. Before getting into the explanation of the hardware of Siemens A71200 PLC, let me tell you what actually PLC is. PLC is the acronym of Programmable Logic Controller. It is an industrial computer that controls a process. Well, the process it can it controls can be a simple one just like a car washing or complex manufacturing just like cement manufacturing pharmaceuticals oil and gas etc the core components of a, P, uh, of a typical plc uh, plc system are power supply memory processor input channels output channels and a communication interface the processor actually processes the inputs based on the program stored in the memory of a PLC the input channels actually take care of the input signals be it digital or analog coming from the field devices like switches and sensors while the output channels actually take care of the devices that have to be controlled through the PLC for example valves actuators and motors the communication interface is all about the communication of the PLC with any other device just like a programming computer or any other PLC or an HMI etc so this is a typical PLC architecture that I uh, told you about a 712 PLC is a compact PLC by compact we mean that power supply input channels, output channels, memory processor, communication interface have been assembled in one module, right? Unlike a 7300 or a 7500 or a 7400 PLC. The status LEDs, I will tell you about that. Well, there are a couple of LEDs or a number of LEDs on the front side of the PLC. The first one I will start from this one, the run stop. If the PLC is in, is in the run mode, that is it is processing the program, then this respective LED of run stop, this LED will be lit green. If it is red, then the PLC is in stop mode and the processor is no more processing the program, right? PLC is in the stop mode. Error. If there is any hardware error or any error in the program of the PLC, then this respective LED will be lit red. Maintenance. If we insert any memory card in this PLC, then in that case, the maintenance LED will start flashing. In one another case, if maintenance LED is on, it means that this PLC requires maintenance. Well, these LEDs are for the digital input signals. Well, this PLC takes care of a number of 16 digital inputs. So we have 16 LEDs. If the digital signal coming from the field and through the wire interfaced with the digital input channel is high, it is 24 volt. If it is 24 volt, then the respective LED will be lit green. It is that much simple. And these LEDs are for the digital outputs. If the digital output is high, then the respective LED will be lit green. If it is not green, it means that the output channel that the respective output channel has zero volt on it so these were the status LEDs I talked about well these three channels are for the power supply since it is a DC DC slash relay PLC as it has been written here DC DC relay it means that the power supply of the CPU is DC 24 volt the digital input signals 
our DC 24 volt and relay the outputs of this the digital outputs of this PLC are 220 volt AC so as DC DC relay I talked about the power supply has to be 24 volt plus 24 volt wire would be connected to this channel zero volt wire would be connected to this and the productive earth wire would be connected to this right L plus mean plus 24 volt so this is the power supply well these are the input channels as I have marked 24 volt DC inputs there are 16 digital input channels and two analog input channels well just ignore this shortened wire right just ignore that it has no use right uh, the digital input signal has to be 24 volt if it is high plus 24 volt if, if it is high signal uh, or if it is low signal it has to be 0 volt while the analog input signal has to be 4 to 20 milliampere DC or 0 to 10 volt the input signals they are actually the signals coming from the field devices for example switches a limit switch for example we, we want to interface it with the PLC so the wire coming out of the limit switch that carries the 24 volt uh, signal has to be interfaced with any of the digital input right so if it if the switch is closed the 24 volt will pass out uh, through the limit switch and they will reach the respective digital input channel of the 7 PLC similarly if we have a thermocouple of a PT, or a PT 100 or a temperature sensor the 4 to 20 milliampere coming out of the transmitter of the temperature sensor would be interfaced well with these analog input channels so this is the input channel uh, port of s 7 plc as i have marked red well this is the digital these are the digital output channels as i have marked and there are a total of 10 digital output channels each digital output channel in if, if high would generate a 220 volt ac or if it is low it will generate zero volt the wiring of the digital output channel and input channels we will do it in the next video it's just about the introduction so this is the digital output channel interface of the 7 plc well memory card the s7200 plc this module also has a slot for the memory card and uh, if we insert it the maintenance led will start flashing as i told you before and the memory is all about the storing of the data relevant to this uh, 712 plc so this is the slot for the memory card well this is the communication interface of this 712 plc if we want to communicate data from the plc to another plc or hmi or a pg well we will connect the lan cable to this port right once this plc is communicating data that is transmitting or receiving data then these respective leds would you know they will start blinking in green color so these are the communication interface uh, this is the communication interface of the 712 plc so in this presentation i just gave you an introduction to the hardware of a 712 plc in the next video i will start the wiring of a 712 plc so goodbye for now